Welcome back to No Man's Sky everyone, Jason here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to become a multi-tool master. Now, the biggest thing with the synthesis update that they added to me, other than the port personal refiner, that to me is the, the top tier. Personal refiner, if you don't know about the personal refiner or some other technology, link up top and down below in the description, but... The other thing they've added is they've added multiple multi-tools. So now instead of just holding one, like right now I just have my one, my A class right here, you can have up to three of them. You can have three multi-tools. So you can have specialty multi-tools. You can have one that's just for scanning and mining, one that's just for damage, whatever you want to do. You can have three of them. So let me show you which one I'm going to go after. And again, as always, I go over to the NMS Coordinates Exchange over on Reddit, you guys. Head over there because they have tons of stuff. Tons of amazing stuff. Oh, man, I gotta refill all this. Give me a second. So after you've activated your portal, I'm pretty sure I already refilled it earlier. So I don't know why it glitched out. Once you refill all of your uh, elements like that, it should be okay. So once you go there, you're going to enter some coordinates right here. And again, the No Man's Sky coordinates exchange is where I went over on Reddit. And this is a post by Rob. RQB. Rob. He posted one of these amazing coordinates, and so I'm going to use this one. So let's get into it. Now you, you can either pause the video or you know go over to NMS coordinates exchange and get these coordinates yourself. But if you want to pause the video, here we go. So, first one is going to be the moon. Then it's going to be the sunrise or sunset. Then it's the trivial pursuit sign. Again, the trivial pursuit sign. The uh, sunrise. The moon. Black hole. Whoop. Black hole right there. The bird. The black hole. The sunrise. Then it's the whale over here. And here is the last uh, symbol, the last glyph. So either screenshot it, pause the video, whatever you need to do. But it's going to be this weird face looking thing. Now those are the coordinates. Now there's some other things you have to do in order to get this multi-tool to appear for you so it's not just hey put these coordinates in and you're good to go you gotta use a, a little bit of tact when you get over there again no man's sky or nms coordinates exchange the no man's sky coordinates exchange over on reddit hit that up they have tons of info over there wow so someone actually built a base over here with power lines i love it so awesome but we're, we're not gonna be here for long we just want to we have to land on a planet and create an autosave there. Is that another portal? Oh man, okay. Kind of threw me off, so let's go up into space. Alright, so look at that. Rob is the one who discovered this. RQB right there. So we're going to be landing on this planet so we can create an autosave. Because when you land on a planet and then you save... Whoa, is that a planet moving? Whoa, okay, that was weird. But yeah, if you land on a planet and create a save, it will change some of the, uh, the multi-tool boxes, okay? And so if you don't see a multi-tool you like, all you have to do is go to another planet, create a save, and then reload. Because it'll actually randomly generate depending on that. But you have to go to a different planet in order to do that. So let's land here. Get out. Okay, so when we leave our ship, it makes an autosave. So now we just have to reload our autosave. So save has been reloaded. Now let's go back up. And now, now we're going to be heading towards this space station. Because that's where our tool is going to be. Where is it at? Oh, over here. Space station's all the way over there, so let's go. Now 
Now the other thing I wanted to mention is multi-tools cost a couple million units. So you're going to have to have some money. You're going to have to have glyphs too. But you're going to have to have some money if you want to come get this one in particular. If you just want to buy multiple multi-tools, that's okay with me. I mean, go ahead, go do it, whatever your heart content is. But for me, I want to make sure to buy a really good one, and this is a really good one. This is an experimental multi-tool. See, look at that thing. It's an experimental, which means it has the best scanner possible on this, okay? So the scanner gives you the best possible stats for your scanning, mining, things like that. If you want more damage, you want to go for an alien multi-tool. They're really cool looking. They have like a like a like a fleshy looking skin on them. But for me, I'm going for scanner range and scanner stuff. So let's do that. And now what we can do is we can trade it. So like if I want to trade out my old multi-tool and say, hey, I don't like this one, I'm gonna trade that out. That's totally fine. But we have room so we can buy a new one. Now remember, your limit is three. You can have three total multi-tools. And so I'm going to keep my old one. I'm going to buy the new one. My new one, ooh, man, seven million units. Holy cow, okay. So if I wanted to just exchange it, I don't know why it doesn't give me a price. It should give me a price. It should take away the difference. So it should take away two million units out of there. So it should only cost me five. But since I'm not doing that, I'm actually just going to buy a new one. We're going to do that. Boom. Seven million. So now I have two multi-tools. Now, how do I get to them? You might ask, oh my god, how do I get to two multi-tools? Well, if you press down on your D-pad, go into your quick menu. You can, you know, you can move around. You can do your refueling, stuff like that. You want to go over to this gear icon, the utilities. And if you go all the way over to the left, you could swap your multi-tool. So now I can switch between... The two that I have. I can go between my experimental and my normal one. Alright, so now look, let's go to the menu. Then go to my multi-tool. Look at that. That's my uh, my normal one right there. Oop, go back into my hotkey menu. Go down all the way over. And let's switch it over to my experimental. So now we have my experimental out. Go to my menu. There it is right there. Boom! Experimental and the the biggest reason to get an experimental is that the scanner it gives you the biggest bump for your scanner Which means when you scan animals you get a lot more money when you break down you when you scan for items it the scanner range is way far out there And so let's customize our scanner a little bit so I'm never gonna use a geology cannon This is basically like a grenade that'll kill me so I'm not using that boom I might keep that for personal force field, but we'll see. So, what you can also do is you head over here. Oh, you go back to the same guy. And if you talk to him, he'll have upgrades for you. So, let's actually look at what upgrades he has. Module upgrades. Boom. He has a bolt caster. He has an S class. So, the S's are yellow. The B's are blue. The A's are purple. Yeah, purple. And the C classes are green. So, you're looking for yellow ones. They have a mining beam module. Yes, we love that. Let's take one of those. And a bolt caster module right there. And you see how it costs 580 nanites. So make sure to have your nanites with you when you get this stuff. And it also has a scanner module. Look at that. A scanner and a mining module. Holy cow, that's amazing. Those are the two hardest ones to find. So if you're here, definitely do that. And if you want to actually short circuit the system... You don't have to wait. Like, if you normally wait for about two hours, all of his inventory will refresh. So let's go back in. They're still gone. You're going to have to wait about two hours for this to come back, okay? So if you don't want to wait that long, all you have to do is, once you buy it, head to your ship real fast. Get in there and get out so we can create an autosave, okay? So once you create an autosave, now you're going to reload your save. So, once you've reloaded your save, it should take you, what, like, less than a minute to reload your save? Reload your save, head back over here, and you'll see that, ta-da! Wait a minute, wait a minute, let me get in here, sorry. I'm, I'm preempting myself. Purchase module upgrades. Ta-da! They're back! So we can get a bolt caster, our mining beam, and our scanner upgrade. Is you can keep doing that as much as you want. All you have to do is buy it, make a save, and reload your save. And the inventory will be all the way back. And this goes for anything. If you buy anything, 
All you have to do is reload your save after you've made it, and you're good to go. So, now we have an awesome multi-tool, right? Well, we need to upgrade this bad boy, so let's upgrade it. I, As you can see, I did a, a little bit of shopping beforehand. Because I wanted to make sure I had all the stuff I needed. So let's do the mining beam module. The mining beam upgrade. Now you don't have, want to put it over here. So right now we have a uh, mining, mining beam advanced laser. And the optical drill. You want to put it next to your mining beam itself. So let's put those together. And notice how there is a, uh, there's a green outline. That means that you have modules together. Like this one, we'll move it over here. Now there's no green outline, so there's no bonus to it. You get a bonus for putting them together. And then on top of that, let's put another upgrade in here. Up oh, mining beam. You can have up to three of those store bot upgrades. So I could put three mining beam upgrades right there. See? Boom, boom, boom. Now if I try to put a fourth there, like, hey, you know what? I'm going to put four of them in there because I bought four of them, right? So I put it, put, put it down there. Boom. It's overloaded. You cannot have more than three of the modules that you buy. So let's get rid of that. Boom. I should have paid attention to what the upgrades were because you want to try to mid-max all of your stats. But you can also... These are blueprints. So you can have t any amount of blueprints you can get. So... Do I have any more mining beam blueprints I can get? No, I can't. Okay. So nothing else for the mining beam could be there. So I have it there. I mean, I could put, do this, right? Now watch this scanner. Or uh, oh, no, You won't be able to tell that because there's no actual thing on there. Dang it. Okay. So you can't tell from there. Let's do the scanner upgrades now. Because the scanner upgrades you can see. So... Put the scanner module. You see how my scanner range right now is 400? If I pop this baby in there, boom. It just went up to 536. So, therefore, you can kind of see what meshes together. And again, there is a yellow box outline because the, the modules are together. If I separate them, the box goes away. And I, actually, you can see that right there. I'm at 520, and I didn't do anything. All I did was move it. If I put it together... Now I'm at 536, so I got an extra 16 scanner range just for putting them together. So that's what you want to do. You have to focus in and make sure to put all of your upgrades that are similar together. So let's pop this bad boy in there. And so we can only do three of them because those are the store-bought ones now, but we can also build some more blueprints. So we have this one right here, a waveform recycler. And I need to make an ion battery. Let's make that real fast. I can do that. If I find it, there it is. So now we have an ion battery. See how it's blue? It's flashing blue. That means it's placed, but you haven't built it yet. You have to put all of your ingredients in. So I put my magnetized ferrite. Now I'm going to put my battery in there. And we should be good to go. Waveform recycler installed. Now... This is where you need to experiment because I have room and so I want to maximize my scanner. Right now I'm at 1367. That's pretty good. Can we make it better? What if I put this over here and this one over there? Up oh, 1409. We're even better. Now, you know what? Let's move this around a little bit. 1409. Okay. I think we, we could, do we have any more upgrades for our scanner? We do not. Okay, scanner, no more upgrades. Boom. So we could just play around with this a little bit. Let's put this down here. And let's see if we make a, a cross out of it. 1189. Nope, that's not good. It's 1409, so that's not as good. Put that in the corner right there. Boom. 1409. So it looks like making a big square with our, our, uh, our B, B class uh, on the side is the best scenario right now. I mean, let's move this over here. Can I move that up here? Yep, doesn't make a difference. No difference at all. That's okay, though. So we've maximized our positions on our multi-tool, and so we're good to go. And it's going to be the same thing for everything else. So you want to put anything you have on the outside? Let's put over here. Actually, well, I like putting the, uh, the core thing, like my mining beam is in the middle, and all the upgrades are around it. That's what I always try to focus on doing. All the upgrades around it. Same thing for this. Let's see. 
13? Oh, no. So we're going to move this one around over here. 1345. Whoa, okay. So actually, you want to put it on the outside because you want more uh, S-Class upgrades around it. Well, wait a minute. It doesn't even matter. Because look at it. My scanner's right there, but my S-Classes are touching. 1409. Okay. So there you go. So yeah, the, the trick is just play around with it, and not everything is going to give you the numbers outright, like my mining beam. I don't know how good my mining beam is, but I can take a guess because I, I know I have my scanner set up the same way. And so I kind of figure that my, my scanner and my mining beam are set up pretty good. All right. And so that's why you want to maximize it this way. And you could do the same thing with your weapons. You could do the same thing with everything on your, uh, your device. Whoop. Put that over there. Nope, it doesn't mix okay, so it doesn't mix together either. So do that, experiment with it, and remember, if you want to switch between your multi-tools, hit down on your D-pad, go all the way over to your gear icon, and then all the way to the left. You have all these different options you could choose. Let's go to swap multi-tool, and you can switch between them. And then if I go back into my menu, I could only mess with my older multi-tool. If I, if I say, oh, I don't like that one, switch over to my experimental boom right there so hopefully you guys liked the video if you did hit that like button for me and if you want to see more subscribe to the channel i'm uploading videos all the time and i will see you guys next time